What's up guys, welcome back to Project Play and today we're going to show you how to stabilize Battlefield 1. Alright, first of all we're going to download this tool called a CPU core unpacker and we're going to use it to unpack our CPU code. It's going to help us reduce some of that stuttering in the game and I'll walk you through how to do this. Once you download it, just extract the file and open it and run this executable in administrator mode and what you want to do is click on check status. Now for most of you guys, if you haven't done this before, it'll say parked here. What you want to do is click unpark all and what that's going to do is not allow your CPU to go down into a low power mode when it's, um, when it's being utilized the most. This is a common issue that happened with Windows 8.1. It's sort of been fixed in Windows 10 but some people are still reporting issues and this certainly helped me reduce stuttering in Battlefield 1. And now once you've done that, if that doesn't really help you at all, what you can do is set Battlefield to run in a high priority mode. I know for a fact that this helped a friend and I myself a lot in reducing stuttering. What you want to do is instead of having to manually tab out and then set the Battlefield to high priority, what you can do is create a text file on your desktop, call it whatever you want. And once you open it, you want to copy this code into it. I'll leave it in the description. What this is going to do is uh, add a registry key to the registry to run Battlefield 1 in a high priority mode. And just go and click save and make sure you edit the file, uh, file type to a registry type. And if you don't have that, what you can do is go into File Explorer, go to View, and then click on uh, File Name Extensions. It's going to let you edit all these other file extensions. So make sure you convert it to a uh, reg file and then run it. And you're going to get this warning, but it's alright. It's a local key machine key, so it should be fine. Shouldn't cause any issues. And then just go ahead and press yes. And now that key is going to be added into Battlefield 1. Now every time you launch Battlefield 1, it's going to run in a high priority mode, which is going to utilize, it's going to prioritize the game more and the CPU um, is going to focus on it more. So if those don't help you, what you can always try is go into your NVIDIA control panel, wait for it to load, and go set use advanced 3D image settings and then go there. What you can do is select the Battlefield 1 executable in here. Uh, if you can't find it here, you can always go in here. These are all your recently launched file, um, programs. And if it's not here, either you can browse into the directory, which should be, for me, it's in C. Uh, program x86, uh, Origin Games, Battlefield 1, and there it is. You can just double click on it to add it. And then once you go there, you can click on this and then go add select program. I've already added it. And what you want to do is uh, copy these settings. So set maximum pre-rendered frames to 1 and power management mode to prefer maximum performance and uh, this is more of a personal thing if you like triple buffering you can set it on shouldn't really affect performance all that much uh, I hope that helps uh, there's one more thing I'll show you in a bit what you can do is another thing that you can try is download this tool called the NVIDIA Inspector I'll leave a link for it in the description it should be version 2.1.20 and just scroll down all the way down here and then click one of the mirrors to download. And once you've downloaded it, open it up and um, extract the files. And open the NVIDIA Inspector executable and make sure you click on this uh, little tool thing here and look for Battlefield 1 in here and once you've selected Battlefield 1 go click on add application to current profile this is one with a green plus sign on it and navigate to your Battlefield 1 directory which for me is C x86 
Origin Games, Battlefield 1, and that's it. And once you've done that, you can click Apply Changes. And once all that's done, you can just back out of this, and you should be good. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope that helps. If you still have issues, uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the description. I'll see what I can do about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you in the next one.